Hey guys, welcome back. So, I know that you probably feel somewhat like I feel, um, that the world is just on the verge of a world war. And I sometimes feel irresponsible talking like this, but at the same time, I would feel irresponsible if I didn't just say what was plainly obvious. Um, with all these nations, large nations, posturing against each other, and event after event after event overseas that's going on, um, we really are seeing what I believe is the beginning of World War III. And just because it hasn't been announced like, hey, it's World War III, just because it hasn't been formally announced does not mean that we are not in the beginning of it. If you thought you were seeing empty shelves before, just wait until it is announced that we are actually in a war. There's going to be utter chaos and panic. Um, unfortunately though, people are like buried in TikTok and all these other social media platforms so deeply that they just don't see what's happening. It's unfolding before their eyes. And if it's not announced on Facebook or TikTok, I don't, I don't know all the different social media sites, but um, if it's not announced like right next to a Kardashian article, then no one's gonna know. And it's so sad because people don't pay attention to current events because they think it's just happening somewhere else and it's not going to happen here. And they will be so shocked and um, unprepared for what is coming, I believe. So basically, I just want to say, guys, this is not the time to slow down on your preps. Um, don't be irresponsible. Um, you know, don't spend every last penny that you have in savings on preps, but do not slow down. Things aren't getting any cheaper. They're not going to get any cheaper. You might as well grab what you can now because if we go into a war economy, not only are there going to be shortages, but the prices are going to go through the roof. It, it won't be fun. Go look back at World War II and how, see how people were living. Um, and just try to prepare your family the best that you can to make out the best that you can. So I'm just going to show you a little haul that I did. It's actually probably two or three shopping trips worth of stuff. Um, just continuing to try to do the best that I can and put back what I can because I do feel like it is incredibly important right now, guys. We do need to take the world events seriously. Okay, guys, this is what I got. I did get some more canned dog food. This is what I get for my dog, Obi. Um, because it lasts longer than the dry dog food, which will go rancid after a while. I think it has like 18 month life. Um, so I grab some of these every once in a while. Um, just so I have some extra food for him. Got some duct tape because, you know, there's so many things you can use duct tape for. And it's good to have on hand. Uh, this three pack of ragu spaghetti sauce they're 45 ounces each it was on sale at bj's there was some kind of a coupon and i think for all three of these it was like 7.99 or something somewhere around there and then i just got all sorts of ziploc bags different shapes and sizes i just want to have all those day-to-day -day things that i need and that i use all the time i want to have a good stockpile of them um, aluminum foil and some sponges and then I got a couple of these sauce kits. I think I've showed you guys these quite a few times, but I love these. Um, just pick your meat of choice or, you know, tofu if you don't do meat, whatever you want to do. Maybe just some vegetables. And um, this is like a, a saute kit. Put it over some rice. Hot chocolate. So somebody had said in a video, I can't remember whose video it was, um, that they were having a hard time finding these individual packets of hot cocoa. And it is true. I did not find a single box of these when I went to BJ's. Um, did find it at Walmart, though. Um, got some more of the Creole red beans and rice. These are awesome. Somebody had suggested these ranch-style beans. I've never tried them, but uh, I will try them. I just grabbed two cans for now. If that was you who suggested them, thank you. I listened. And then I got four things of Progresso soup. This was on sale somewhere, I want to say um, Winn-Dixie, probably. And so I got a couple broccoli cheese, a couple tomato with basil. Uh, this four pack of chunk chicken, which is still just under $10, I got at Walmart. I stock this stuff very heavily um, because I do think that a lot of people forget about proteins, like your actual meat proteins, when they're um, prepping and stockpiling. Now, Walmart did give me a busted 
can. I'm going to open this pack and see if the other ones are busted, but basically I'm going to go on the app and report that it was damaged, and they're just going to give me a full refund for this, um, even if it was just one can that was damaged, because that's what they do. And you don't even have to bring it back. Uh, got one more can of Sloppy Joe sauce, some peas, a couple things of kidney beans, minced onion. This stuff lasts a good long time. Got a couple different kinds of canned potatoes. This is like my potato central right here. So canned potatoes, hash brown potatoes. I love these um, for breakfast in the morning. And I'll put some minced onion in it. And then I got a bunch of potato or mashed potatoes. I got an eight pack from BJ's that was $8.00. Um, it is about to be Thanksgiving, so all those things that you want to have for Thanksgiving dinner, just make sure that you're getting them now. And then over here, I got a bunch of this, um, quick rice. I got two things of basmati and two things of this yellow rice. I've never tried this before. It's saffron and turmeric seasoned basmati rice. Um, sounded good. I love Indian food and all those spicy, wonderful flavors. Um, these things, yes, it says to microwave for 90 seconds, but... You can literally put them in a pot over a camp stove or some coals, like a fire or something. Put a little bit of water in it, just enough to create the steam and cook it that way. Uh, two more things of country gravy. Two more packs of this pizza crust mix. If you guys have never tried this, um, I like making homemade pizzas, but also I started making flatbread with this mix. Um, because it does, it's the thin and crispy kind, so it doesn't have yeast in it. So you can make a flatbread with it. It doesn't uh, rise and get all thick, if that makes any sense. I'm going to show you that in a video, if you care to see it. Um, got some Fiesta Blend cheese. A couple more of the Zatarans Jambalayas. Um, I love these, and they do have a pretty long shelf life. This is September 2024, so two years. And I have used it um, well past the Best Buy date. I did get four pounds of butter from BJ's. I have seen all sorts of reports about butter shortages, and I don't know if there's a particular reason why. I could imagine that um, everything that's going on with the droughts and uh, people not being able to get feed for their cows, um, that maybe the cows are just not producing. Maybe there's not enough grass for them to eat because of the droughts. I don't know, but for some reason there should be, we should be expecting a butter shortage. Uh, this four pounds was fifteen dollars at BJ's, so I don't know. Break that down about three seventy five per pound, which is much cheaper than even Walmart, which I think is up to about four seventy a pound, somewhere around there. It's ridiculous. And then I got some cheese grits, some frozen orange juice. Got three of those pickle slices, and then I got a bunch of avocado oil. This I got from Sam's Club, I think. And I use this very, very regularly, so it's not going to go bad. These 34-ounce uh, bottles are around $8.99, I want to say, maybe $9.99, but much cheaper than uh, Walmart or anywhere else I can get it. So that's just the kind of stuff that I um, stock up. I'm sure you guys have your own things that you like, but um, people always say, eat what you prep and prep what you eat. And I get the comments saying, I just don't eat canned foods. I just don't eat all this artificial kind of stuff. So I'm going to change the saying to prep what you will eat when you're starving. <laughs> because I know for darn sure I will eat all of these things, even though they are not first on my list. I will eat them if I'm hungry. I know I will. They're, they're delicious. I work them into my uh, rotation so that I am using them. But they're all shelf-stable goods. Well... This is going in my deep freezer, but everything else just about is shelf stable. And I know that I will eat it. I know that I like these things. So try not to be so picky when you are stocking up on things because it could mean the difference between you eating and not eating. And just try different things. Try shelf stable things. If there's something that you find that you do like, stock up on it. Even if it's not something that you eat regularly. But do make sure that you're going through these things and actually using them. Don't let them just sit and gather dust. Um, make up some recipes for the things that you stocked. Keep on stocking up and I'll see you in the next one.